Hey everyone, and welcome to my first video of 2021. This is my first planner flip and also my first YouTube channel video. So I'm recording it on my phone. I hope the quality is okay. My kids are screaming in the background. So if you can hear that, please excuse it. But I wanted to do a flip of this beauty right here. This is Oh my goodness, <laughs> they're so loud. They're playing. Um, this is my medium XL Julio Campania, and the color of the leather is yellow. It's the yellow Epoca. I do have Franklin Covey Compact inserts inside of this. And if for whatever reason I don't know the name of the shop, please message me and I will look that information up for you if you're interested. So in this front, pocket here. I have a picture of my two-year-old. This is from his birthday party last year. It was a Toy Story themed and he was a little Buzz Lightyear. I just have some journaling cards, some stickers, some stamps. I have my stickers that I use frequently for school. Um, in the secretarial flap, I have other stickers that I kind of turn to frequently. And then in the zipper compartment here, I have a Hobonichi stencil, and then I have um, some stuff that came with my Yeti that I recently purchased. Over here, I have this super, super cute little journaling card. Um, I have them for all the months. This is from... Well, I know her as JL Plans, and she just changed her name. She's doing a rebranding. Um, gosh, I can't think of it. Twisted 22. I don't think that's right. That's not right. I'm butchering it. But if you are interested, let me know and I will, um, send that to you in the comments. This is a dashboard from Lucy Plans Life. And then this is a journaling card from Sequins and Paper. I have, um, an Ollie clip here, an Ollie clip here. This is a dashboard from Paper and Ink Printables. Then this is my personal information on my Blooms inserts. Um, the monthly inserts are the same ones that I've been using. Um, I started them mid-month and I have stuff filled out on them. So I just figured I'd keep using them. I, I may switch them out. I don't know, but um, right now I'm using them. Um, here is 2020 and 2021. I have to mark off December. This is a dashboard from paper and ink printables that I printed on vellum and then I laminated. All of these um, white dash or white um, dividers, they are from Caffeine and Paper Co. Just have a few post-its over here. This is an inbox from Marcia Ramucci. This is a freebie from Perpetual Plans. And then I have this um, Kaban board, K-A-B-A-N, Kaban, I don't know, but this is from Three Nikki's, and this is like a little um, thing that you can use if you're working on a project, so um, you have a to-do column, an in-progress, a blocked, and then a completed, and then you write down your task for that project on little post-its, and then you just move them to the appropriate column um, just to help you keep track of where you're at. This um, is a freebie that I just printed off from Hey Planner Girl. I have it in like a little pocket. Um, there were several cards and she has them listed. Um, I found the link on her Instagram, but I thought they were really cute. These are really useful. Like if you're um, resizing inserts, like printable inserts. And then this one I have here is just all the different sizes of inserts. And I thought this was pretty useful. This is a key card from Poi and Hun. I have a few more post-its over here. I have one of my favorite journaling cards from Sequence of Paper, and I have it on this vellum that I got from the Planner Spot. Then these are just special dates. Then these are my um, monthlies, and like I said, I got these mid-month, so they started in July, um, and I think I started using these in August. So I just wanted to keep them because I do have things written in here um, for the future. So I have January here. And then I was using the Franklin Covey 
daily pages. They were like a day on two pages, but I need more room in my planner. So I'm switched to a day on one page and I am going to be using Marcia Bermucci's day on a page. Whoops. So this is what it looks like. I filled out for today. I still have my weekly compass from Franklin Covey. Um, but it has a nice little timeline here for your appointments and then it has a bullet list and I really like it. I hope that focuses okay. Let me see if I can like tap that. I don't know. But um, I can still use the Franklin Covey compact planning system. Like how I have things prioritized here and then as I you know, do them or remove them forward or whatever. I'll put the little symbol here in the little box. So I really like that. And then down here I have room still to write out my daily devotional or my daily um, Bible phrase. So I really like these inserts and I think that I'm going to enjoy using these and they take up so much less space because they're only a day on one page. So, and then I have the rest of my monthlies. These will go through June. So I don't know, I may switch them out to something that's more minimal looking, but I do like the floral also. So we'll see. This is a yearly fold out from Dua Inspiring Designs. And I just have some important birth dates written on there and um, some important dates highlighted with some clear dot stickers, a piece of vellum. And then this is a yearly overview from Dua Inspiring Designs. And I think what I'm going to do is every month I'm going to have a word to focus on, like a word of the month. So I'm going to implement that on this insert here. I have some acetate. Um, this is a dashboard from Marcia Bramucci. And then I believe this is a printable um, journaling card from Sequins and Paper. I have another journaling card over here that was from Shop Villa Beautiful. It was in her advent um, kit. This is a yearly fold out that I have from Franklin Covey. And then here's a picture of my husband and I. This is, this I believe was a freebie from Paper and Ink Printables um, that came with like one of her orders. Then I have a picture of my daughter and my granddaughter. And then I have a, behind that, I have a journaling card from Shop Villa Beautiful. Over here I have, um, these are these, the post, these post-its came from cloth and paper and they're like to test out pens, like different pens and inks and things. So I have some of those in there. I have another piece of acetate, another journaling card, actually another one of my favorites from Sequins and Paper, and then another dashboard from Marcia Bramucci, and this is also from Marcia Bramucci, and then this next section is my PR section, so I have um, the important information kind of tucked away in this paper clip, but um, this insert is from... Simple and Trendy Co. And it is perfect. If you do PR, um, what I do is I write down the name of the shop and then I write down like the specifics, like the requirements that I, I have to meet to um, do the PR for that person. And then I usually put my discount code or actually the, the discount code for the public here. I'll put my personal discount code in here. And then as I do posts or um, stories, I just use one of the little, um, one of these like zig dot markers to keep track of that. I don't know if I can like show you. Well, um, I have it color coded. So like I use a certain color for stories and then a certain color for post. And then I also have these um, habit tracker inserts from cloth and paper and like I'll use that like if I'm doing PR for like a short period for somebody like say a couple weeks or just a month then this is perfect for that. This is my tracker that I'm going to use to track steps, um, my oral hygiene, stories, posting, um, Clinical calls, I'm going to make it a point to at least call three people a day to try to set up my clinicals so that um, sugar intake and hours of sleep. So that's that for there. I have some free slots. So 
Um, I might add more to it, but this is from Sterling Ink. Let me take a drink of water because my throat is feeling dry. Okay, so then I have my Instagram tracker. This is from Printable for Planners. I have another journaling card. I, I'm not for sure. I think it's from the planner spot. And then this vellum is from the planner spot. I have this meal planning insert. This is from Lucy Plans Life. And I went over this before. Um, this is just kind of a generic monthly um, meal plan. And I have all the recipes for these different items on my phone. But this kind of helps me as a guide for what I will be eating for, I think this is just for a week, so. And then I have some other pages that I can fill out here. And then these inserts, these are monthly inserts and they're from Simple and Trendy Co. And I like to write down my meals, particularly my, my dinners on this to keep track of that. Because usually if I'm going to eat bad, it's going to be for dinner. So I just like to see that. So I have a few of those. This is some vellum from the planner spot. I believe this journaling card is from Paradise Planner Co. And then this is a little um, bookmark from Planning with Alo. This is a dashboard from Marcia Bermucci. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my little charms here. So this little M charm, I'm sure you guys have seen these. This is from Lucy Plans Life. And then this is a charm. I'm not for sure what shop it came from. It was gifted to me by one of my planner friends. Let's see, this is a journaling card from Poi and Hun. And then this is a journaling card from Shop Villa Beautiful. And then the dashboards from Marcia Bermucci. And this next section is just like my list section. So I have like a planner wish list here. Um, I keep track of like the planners that I sell. Um, I've got some websites here for preschool learning. Um, favorite planner shops. Over here I have... Um, this, I found this actually. I don't know where it came from, but I found it. So I thought it was cute. I added it in there. Then I have a notes section. This is from Marcia Bermucci. So this is just some information for school, like different things that I need or should get. Um, these are apps to download for school. I'm, in, in case you're wondering, if you don't know, I'm in school to earn my FMP to become a family nurse practitioner. So these are some apps that are useful for that. Um, let's see, this was back when I was setting up my Franklin Covey Compact. So I was in a different size before that. These are a list of my two-year-old's words. And I just have some blank note pages. Um, let's see, I have, this is a planner friends insert here, and then I have this cute, cute vellum from the planner spot, it's one of my favorites. This dashboard's from Lucy Plans Life. I'm horrible at printing my own, I think I tried to resize it because, um, she doesn't have Franklin Covey compact size, so I just took a personal size and I tried to make it work, so... <laughs> It doesn't bother me, so um, this is a journaling card from Sequins and Paper. And then this next section here is my fitness planner, and this is from Dubois Inspiring Designs. And I do not have anything filled out yet, but I'm going to be doing um, Beachbody. And it's the first time I've actually like committed to doing it, so I'm planning on using this to track my progress. So I will actually print off pictures of myself and put them in here. Um, the COVID-20 got me this year, so I'm trying to do something about that and just be healthy overall. So I went over this insert in my stories on Instagram yesterday, but this is a really, really nice setup if you are wanting to have a fitness tracker. So like this is a workout tracker. You have your weight loss tracker and a place where you can like graph it. 
Um, this habit tracker is perfect. I'm going to use it to track my workouts daily. Then here's another yearly tracker. I'm not for sure what I will use that for yet, but you can never have too many trackers. This is a BMI tracker. And then this is like a 30 day challenge. So I'm going to put that there. This is um, 52 weeks worth of weight tracking. So I think this will be nice. It'll be really neat to look back and see the progress. So um, this is a card insert from Franklin Covey. And I just have some journaling cards. I have a picture of my husband and I. Um, this is a journaling card from Shop Villa Beautiful. This is from Sequins and Paper. And then on the back, I have a picture of my boys. This is a journaling card from, I believe this is from Sequence and Paper. And then this is another dashboard from Marcia Bermucci. I have uh, this little sketch that someone did of my planner. This was when I was in my Rose, Rosewood Croco. And then it's on a dashboard from Marcia Bermucci. This is a dashboard from Paper and Ink Printables. Then I have my finance section here. A dashboard from Lucy Plans Life. This is, um, here's the back of it. This is a no spend tracker. This is a freebie from Perpetual Plans. And then I have my bill tracker. These are some inserts that I haven't filled out yet. These are from Three Nickies. So you, there's a debt payment. So you can use it like to, if you have like credit card debt, student loans, that type of thing. You can use it to track your progress. Um, if you do like after pay or any of those like um, those programs where they break down your payments. This is a tracker for that, which I thankfully do not have anything on any of those right now. Um, this is a subscriptions and membership tracker, which I need to update. And then this is an orders tracker. This is actually, um, this is from Lucy Plans Life. All these other ones were from Three Nickies. I do have a PR code for Three Nickies also which um, I will share, or you can message me if you want it and I can comment it. Um, this is a bill tracker from Three Nikki's. And then I have a budget per paycheck. This insert, this is part of the Franklin Covey Compact Starter Set. I forget exactly what it was called, but it, had, it came with a bunch of different inserts. And this one has like, um, my automobile information and servicing so like I can you know keep track of my oil changes and that type of thing annual summary of business expenses I honestly will not be using that but it's on the back of this so this is just like a little pocket insert and um, I got the idea from perpetual plans like she uses one and she keeps like her receipts in it um I'm really bad at doing that. As you can see, it's empty. I did it for a little bit when we were on vacation and then I just kind of stopped. This is some vellum and I'm not sure where, what shop this came from, honestly. So I'd have to do some digging to find that out. This is a dashboard from Perpetual Plans that I printed off on vellum. I think this is a freebie too. So you might be able to get that from her Instagram. This is a dashboard from Marcia Permucci. And then this next section is my goals section, which I use for school. I have this cute little journaling card from Sequins and Paper. Then I have this journaling card here as well. Um, so right now I am on a break from school, but I typically plan my schooling in weekly inserts. So you know, we go by the week every eight weeks and I'll just put like my assignments or if I have an exam or, you know, anything that I need to do, like print off a study guide and um, that will go in here. So these weekly inserts are from three Nikki's. And then I have this quarterly insert. This is from my C plans life. And actually all of the information on this needs to be updated, which I plan on putting into these quarterly inserts from Dua Inspiring Designs. Um, the reason I have to update them is because I missed a deadline for school, so everything got pushed back a couple weeks or a couple months actually. So I just need to 
redo that so that it's correct. And then I have the yearly overview here as well. And what I plan on doing is um, like keeping track of things that I've learned in my clinical um, so that I can have that information to update on my resume. Um, and, and also I was thinking maybe like on this one, cause I have two of them. I was thinking maybe doing just um, like which clinicals are due or if I have any deadlines, I might just put that there. I have these goals inserts next. These are from Franklin Covey and I don't really, this is just like a sample for goal planning. I have some things written out here. Um, this is the planner guide and it kind of explains the Franklin Covey planning system. And then let's see, this is my vision and or values and mission, which I have that kind of filled out. They, they basically want you to plan to your planning based off of what your values are so that it can kind of help you prioritize um, so that you can get things done and focus on what's most important to you. Um, as you can see, look how freaking thick this thing is. I can barely turn the pages at this point. Um, key information. And I have that section blocked off because I have like important passwords and that type of thing. And then I have addresses and phone numbers here, which I don't want to show any of that information either. Random stuff. Um, I have a deep cleaning guide here. This is from Vienna Ortiz. And then back here, I have some stickers from Hey Planner Girl. And this little card insert is from Franklin Covey. I have a bill. And then back here, I have some sticky notes from Poi and Hun. I have an appointment card that's from Cloth and Paper. I have a another appointment card that has um, my dentist appointment on it. I have a journaling card. This is a blank daily reminders card. That I believe this is from Poi and Hun. These are some freebies that I got from Hey Planner Girl. They're just some stickers. And then I have some stickers that I use a lot for like appointments and things. I believe these are from Sweet Caress. And some freebies from Cloth and Paper. I have these task cards that I made up um, that have like AM, afternoon, and PM tasks. And then I have my my eye um, prescription card from Ray-Ban. Back here, I just have like a little, um, a few like notebook or notepad pages. I don't know if there's anything else in there. Oh, I have a journaling card. Or actually, it's a thank you card, but I like the way it looked. So I kept it. I should punch it or something and stick it in there. And then on the back, I just have some paper, some receipts. Um, so yeah, that's it. I feel like that took forever. So if you watched until this point, thank you so much. Um, if you, um, would like, please follow me. I'm new so I can use all the followers I can get and please like this video. And I, again, thank you guys so much for watching and happy new year. Bye.